in this class we are going to solve and find out the strength of a joint which could be connected either using a double v butt joint or a single v butt joint so we're given two plates one 18 mm thick and the other 16 mm thick the first case we are asked to connect these two by a double v joint and in the second case we are asked to find out the design strength if it is only connected using a single v weld as we know in the double v butt weld joint the penetration takes place completely and therefore the throat thickness is given by the thickness of the thinner plate in our case it is 16 mm the effective length is given to us as 200 mm the ultimate strength of the plate 410 newton per mm square and the partial safety factor is to be taken as 1.25 since it is a shop weld for a field weld we take a higher partial safety factor of 1.5 To find out the effective area of the weld, effective area of the weld, we multiply the length, effective length and the throat thickness. The design strength of the weld is given by the effective area. multiplied by fu upon root 3 and since it's the design strength we use the partial safety factor gamma mw substituting for all these terms we get 605987 newton which is 605 0.987 kilonewton next we find out the design strength due to a single v uh, weld joint uh, in this case since the penetration is not complete we know that the effective throat thickness is taken as 5 by 8 times the thickness of the thinner plate and the design strength is given by the same formula only here we have a different thickness this time and this works out to be 378.742 kilonewton so we have two cases one case in which the two plates are to be connected using uh, a double v weld and in the other case a single v weld we can see the difference in uh, the strength that we obtain here it is 605 whereas here it is 378.74 kilonewton so uh, when we provide a double v butt joint or a double v weld joint for a butt uh, connection we get higher strength as compared to a single v thank you